Welcome to the Wealth Code Blockchain Knowledge Series, and in this episode, we'll be talking about Block Zero Labs. No hype, no BS, just laying out the facts for your reference so you gain a greater understanding in under 15 minutes. Remember to follow and subscribe to our pages for all future episodes being released on a regular basis. And share this video with friends, family, and the online community to help them better understand this new asset class. And of course, if you'd like us to delve deeper into any of your favorite blockchains, cryptos, or digital assets for future episodes, or you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. So let's get started. Venture capital has played a significant role in helping startups gain traction, but the VC process has had about a 1% success rate when it comes to launching unicorns, projects that are valued at over a billion dollars. Though there still must be a better way for more projects to break through the billion dollar ceiling. A more hands-on approach to assisting the growth of fledgling startups has led to the development of a series of business incubators, such as venture studios and startup accelerators, that have been successfully stewarding nascent projects towards higher valuations now for years. Venture Studios and Accelerators Venture Studios have been around since 1996, when Idea Lab first launched. Since its inception, Idea Lab has posted a 70% success rate, with 5% of its projects reaching unicorn status, numbers that far exceed assistance from venture capital alone. Studios build projects from the ground up, from the idea stage to the launch, and hopefully towards a lucrative exit. Recently, venture studios have become increasingly popular, and the global startup studio network has measured a 625% growth in startup studios in the last seven years. When ideas have already formed into projects that need a leg up, they can turn towards an accelerator to help them reach the next level. Y Combinator, first launched in 2006, stands out as one of the most successful accelerators to date, and it's responsible for helping projects become household names like Airbnb, Instacart, and Reddit. The combined valuation of projects that have worked with Y Combinator comes to over a whopping $300 billion. Incubating the next generation of tech startups, Many of the tech unicorns that have started or grown thanks to studios and accelerators are part of what's called the Web 2.0, and these platforms depend on the internet to deliver their services. Like the centralized technology they depend on, the internet, these Web 2.0 unicorns are centralized services that are giving way to the decentralized services of the future. The next step in the evolution of the web, Web 3.0, promises to deliver a new stock of services powered by blockchain technology and the enhanced security and programmability these blockchains provide. Web 3.0, the decentralized applications, dApps that power Web 3.0, and the dominance of blockchain technology that makes it all possible are growing at a phenomenal rate. Using data collected from 2016 to 2019, Grandview Research estimated that the blockchain market will see a compound growth rate of 82.4% year over year from 2021 to 2028, with revenues forecasted at around $400 billion by the end of this time frame. This could end up being a very conservative estimate when factoring in the multiplicity of the growth in the blockchain world. For example, one blockchain unicorn called Ethereum has facilitated the birth of dozens of other unicorn projects built on its network, and a few of these projects like Uniswap, Chainlink, and Polygon have risen to valuations above $10 billion. Like a potato that uncontrollably sprouts new buds when left in the pantry for too long, blockchain projects seem to spawn new and fantastic projects in droves. The year 2021 has witnessed the emergence of over 100 unicorn projects. That's over 100 projects valued at over $1 billion each that are based on blockchain technology. The future of business development can only ignore blockchain technology at its own peril. The total market cap of all blockchain projects including Bitcoin, currently stands at over $2.5 trillion. And there are multiple factors pointing to a future where blockchain technology will disrupt at least some aspect of nearly every industry, as decentralized technologies gain prominence. An innovator in the blockchain space, Block Zero Labs, is taking the next logical step in furthering the development of blockchain technology 
by decentralizing the kind of services championed by Idea Labs and Y Combinator into an international, round the clock, and inclusive consortium for creating the next generation of unicorns. What is Block Zero Labs? Block Zero Labs is a decentralized venture fund, lab, studio, and accelerator operating as a decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO. According to Block Zero, blockchain technology is like a universe ripe for exploration, and its combined services provide the tools for probing further into that universe than ever before. The Vortex. Block Zero's treasury is known as the Vortex, and the Vortex consists of an index of native tokens deposited from blockchain projects associated with Block Zero. This means the success of Block Zero's efforts can be measured by the value captured within the Vortex, and these funds can be used to further Block Zero's mission. The only way to remove assets from the Vortex is through staking, burning, or voting with XIO, Block Zero's governance token. Holding XIO gives users rights to the projects Block Zero develops, and the value of XIO consequently reflects the success of these projects. The total value locked in the Vortex depends on Block Zero citizens, members of the Block Zero community, strategically focusing development funds towards increasing the value of projects through DAO governance voting. A DAO has no CEO or executive board steering the organization's decisions, so the community behind a DAO like Block Zero has the authority to make decisions on the organization's behalf. And like any other DAO, holding Block Zero's governance token gives its community the right to vote on proposals, determine how funds will be spent, as well as share in the success of the platform. Block Zero's community governance is divided into three tiers. Citizens, Core, and Council. Block Zero's Council receives no financial rewards for its participation and provides strategic guidance as Block Zero moves towards full decentralization. Core members and citizens, however, can complete tasks that contribute to the success of Block Zero and its affiliate projects to earn rewards paid in XIO. This system creates a decentralized global talent pool that is divided into three divisions with separate purposes and goals. Block Zero Labs, Block Zero Studio, and Block Zero Accelerator. Block Zero Labs. Block Zero Labs functions as the research arm of the protocol where citizens can provide their talents to collaboratively explore experimental ideas. Citizens can help out Block Zero and affiliated projects by providing beta testing and feedback, helping create marketing strategies and working out tokenomic models based on game theory. Users who want to become citizens can connect their crypto wallet and apply for a Block Zero passport. Once a passport is obtained, citizens can join the Block Zero Discord server for up-to-date instructions on how to get involved and fulfill tasks. Block Zero Studio. Block Zero Studio is a decentralized venture studio specialized in developing new blockchain projects. 100% of the revenue, fees, and tokens received from these projects are deposited into the Block Zero Vortex. The studio has launched three innovative projects to date, including Flash Stake, used for earning instant upfront yield on staked crypto, Aquify, a universal liquidity mining protocol, and Drop Zero, a tool for creating permissionless and gas-efficient token distribution via airdrops. The Block Zero Studio provides projects with assistance in developing smart contracts, designing user interface and user experience, UI and UX, performing security audits, and battle testing project platforms in testnet. Block Zero Accelerator. Block Zero Accelerator is Block Zero's growth division, and it contrasts with the model established by Y Combinator in several ways. While Y Combinator is aimed specifically towards developing Web 2.0 projects, is location dependent with cohorts onboarded twice a year and operates as a centralized organization. Block Zero Accelerator focuses on developing Web 3.0, can work with projects located anywhere at any time, and operates as a community-supported DAO. Projects that already have a native token can apply to join Block Zero Accelerator at any time, and once accepted, their tokens are added to the deposits in Block Zero's vortex. Since participating with Block Zero Accelerator hopefully raises the value of a project's native token, this is how Block Zero can raise the value of its fund for future developments 
and revenue sharing with the community of XIO holders. The final verdict. Block Zero has stated that it believes the chances of your success should be based on your passion, ability, and execution, not who you know or how much money you have. Decentralized technologies are opening doors for millions of people to participate in a new wave of value creation based on merit more than connections and luck of the draw. Blockchain technology allows for platforms to operate transparently on open source coding that levels the playing field for everyone involved. On this transparent and level playing field, Block Zero is spearheading an innovative way for ideas to become projects and for projects to become unicorns. Through Block Zero, anyone with talent and initiative can help develop the next big thing in blockchain tech. And that's a huge deal for the future of this rapidly growing sector of both business and technology. Block Zero is a project operating with a lot of moving parts in order to deliver its comprehensive services for building and accelerating blockchain projects. The mechanics for participating in Block Zero can seem complicated for new users but the platform provides plenty of opportunities for people with talent, skill and drive to take part in something as big as they're willing to make it themselves. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Wealth Code Blockchain Knowledge Series. Stay up to date by subscribing and following our pages for all future episodes. And feel free to comment if you'd like us to delve deeper into any of your favorite blockchains, cryptos or digital assets in future videos. And don't forget to share this video with friends, family, and the online community to help them better understand this new asset class. I'll see you on the next episode.